everyone, I'm Mark Bird, the Teenager and Trumpet, or author of How to Be Successful on Twitter, and today I'm going to talk about setting the bar higher. A lot of people have the problem that they decide not to raise the bar higher. The bar usually stays here, or even lower than that, like right where all these arrows are that indicate that you need to raise the bar higher. So, why raise the bar? That's the first question that you may want to know the answer to, because if you want to raise the bar, you need to raise it for a reason. So, raising the bar higher will allow you to get more done. You may be able to double your results or achieve a goal twice as fast as you thought you would achieve it. You will give yourself a new standard of excellence that you will have to continue well, following that standard of excellence. And there's not a reason why people should not be raising the bar for themselves. The reasons that this bar ultimately stays where it is now is fear. Raising the bar means a lot more work. Raising the bar means people get to notice about you. People actually fear that. And whether you fear that or not, fear is a big factor that leads to the bar staying where it is. Another factor that results in people not raising the bar higher is bad time management skills. They decide, okay, let's raise the bar. Double the work and double the effort. When people realize that need, they need to put in more effort in order to stay with that bar, they lower it back down. Back down to, let's say, where it is right now. So time management is another reason that people resist raising the bar higher because people just don't want to do the work and by raising the bar higher you guarantee yourself that you have to do more work. So those are the main reasons why people do not raise the bar higher and which is why they settle for mediocrity. By not raising the bar higher and settling for mediocrity you're just another competitor. You're just with all the other people in your niche who are trying to get noticed, they're wondering why they're not getting noticed, but it's because they're not raising the bar higher. They're not trying to get better results. And well, they may be trying, but they're not going to put in the work that will allow them to get the better results. And the reason you need to get out of the mediocrity bubble, if you're in it, if you're not, that's great, but if you are, you need to get out of that bubble because by getting out of that bubble and becoming one of the top experts or top people in your niche, that's scarce. It creates scarcity because there are not as many people at the top as there are people who have not raised the bar higher or and, and are in that big group of the mediocrity. So by raising the bar higher, you will eventually become one of the top people in your niche and being a top person in your niche means more speaking opportunities, more commercials if you're an athlete, or and a lot of other good benefits come by getting out of the mediocrity bubble. So stay out of that mediocrity bubble, and the best way to do that is to set the bar higher. So when you raise the bar, because a lot of people make this mistake, let's say you're down here right now, your bar is right here, a lot of people raise the bar all the way to the top, and that's just too much. You gotta put in too much work. It's a vision where it's very difficult to achieve, if not impossible. And chances of achieving that vision are very unlikely. So, if you have, let's say, you just created a Twitter account saying, I want to have 100,000 real followers in three months you're putting the expectation too high. You don't want to put the bar too high because then you'll realize, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I gotta raise it back, I gotta lower it now so that I can actually do something. What you do instead of setting the bar too high is that you create little stepping stones. Maybe you raise the bar here and then once you get here, you go here and you get here. It's like stairs, it's like walking upstairs. You're on the bottom of the floor, so you walk up one step, you get closer to the top, and you walk another step and another step, and let's say there's like six steps, well, once you walk all six of those steps, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, 
then you get to here. You can't just immediately think about this. This could be like maybe a three-year vision or a five-year vision or whatever how long you want the vision to be. You need to have steps that lead up to this floor, which is where you want to raise the bar. So instead of raising the bar too high where you lose the confidence and the motivation and it just all seems impossible, put the bar down here. It's still raising the bar higher, and it's still going to lead to better results, but you are going to gradually get up here. You are not going to lose the motivation and confidence, and it's not going to be a giant leap in terms of investing more time, because people resist raising the bar because of time management. If you put the bar up here, that's a crazy amount of extra time that you have to, let's say, answer phone calls or write blog posts. That's just... Crazy amount. You know, you're maybe going from like one hour a day to like six hours a day or some really crazy thing like that. So instead of raising the bar too high, just keep it, go from here to here and make your way to the top. Then when I raise the bar for myself, I find it very helpful to write it on a piece of paper. Thinking about it is really bad. You say, Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Two days later, maybe you forget. Maybe you get mixed up. Maybe it was 60,000 Pinterest followers instead of 50,000 Pinterest followers. Or maybe it was 40,000. So you kind of forget what you said when you want to raise the bar higher by keeping it in your mind. Because a lot of things get changed. And by keeping it in your mind, and when you realize that this is too much work, you lower that. So maybe... 50,000 Pinterest followers turns into 10,000 Pinterest followers. So by keeping it in your mind, you risk either forgetting it or lowering your standard because you're not committed yet. Another option is typing, which is not as bad as thinking about it, but typing it is also, in my opinion, not that good because anyone can... Now, I know this may sound strange to some people, but typing it, you're using the same letters that anyone else can use. If you type a T on one computer, and you type a T on another computer, it looks the same. What you want to do is write it on a piece of paper. It's your handwriting. People are not going to be able to copy your handwriting. It is unique. And by putting it on a piece of paper, and even better, hanging it up like on a wall in your room, you are going to see that more. And by seeing it more, and realizing that that's your handwriting, you are committing yourself towards raising that bar higher. Now, if it's too high, again, I want to re-emphasize this because this is something very important. People commonly raise the bar too high, and they see it written down, and then it's just, they lose the motivation, then they don't want to put in the work, and then they put the bar back down here, and in some cases, they even lower their bar. So, you really do not want to do this, raise it too high, and I know I've basically talked about this for a few minutes already, but it's worth noting a second time because this is a mistake that too many people make. So, when it comes to setting the bar higher and actually putting in the time that will allow you to get the best results, write it on paper. Let's say it takes an extra five minutes to write it on paper compared to thinking about it or an extra two minutes to write it on paper instead of just typing it on the computer. Writing it on paper is the best way to actually remember it and accomplish that goal. When I have a goal, I almost never type on the computer. I'm always writing a goal in my notebook. If I happen to type something, I print it out and hang it up on my wall. So, writing your goals and how you are going to raise the bar higher. It's a lot different from thinking and typing. So raising the bar will allow you to get better results, boost your confidence, and give you the motivation that will allow you to cross the finish line where you will get to that point and then go to this point and then get all the way here. Because although this is too high, it's too high for now. You may be able to reach this at a later by taking the steps together. And the best part is, once you raise the bar once, so let's say you raise it here, 
it gets easier to keep on implementing the strategy each time because getting here is a big accomplishment. Raising the bar, like maybe even an inch is a big accomplishment. Or so minuscule, but it's a big accomplishment to raise that bar. And then you get that motivation and you hunger the ability to raise the bar higher and you want to keep on raising it up and up and up until you can't raise it anymore. So raising the bar, once you do it once, you keep on going, Sky's the limit. <coughs> Excuse me. The sky's the limit, but once you get to the sky, I mean, you kind of experiment. Maybe there's like the Milky Way. I wrote a blog post about it. Shoot for the Milky Way instead of shoot for the stars because you never know how far you are going to go. Who knows? Maybe you end up being the next billionaire. I know that sounds really ridiculous, but who knows? Maybe you create a big company. Maybe you end up turning an online bookstore into a multi-billion dollar business. Maybe you turn something for college students to, well, basically an online yearbook for college students into a multi-billion dollars. Maybe 140 characters is a really great way to create a multi-billion dollar enterprise. Maybe having games on a phone for free with advertisements or for 99 cents is a great way to create a multi-billion dollar enterprise. So there are, there are a lot of different benefits that can come from raising the bar higher and who knows what you will be able to do when you raise this bar higher. And that's all for this video. I hope this video has served you and I look forward to seeing you in my other videos as well. You can follow me and get in touch with me on Twitter at Mark Guberti. And what I want you to do today, tomorrow, and every single other day is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.